we were to select a project and we were working in groups to select those projects and I don't know, is this right, but didn't you and I both take a look at this park and say we have a green space in the middle of the original Highlands and it's in disrepair and disarray and how could we let that happen? Here's what that park looks like. Oh my gosh. This was a Sunday a few weeks ago. Unleash dogs. At like five. At five. This was just, I'm on the equipment with my son, and this was just like people trying to come in. I mean, there were, there were like 15 dogs there. The businesses around the area had all come together to create this playground. And, I mean, they put down this, this surface that is, is a recycled surface and got this playground equipment. I mean, somebody had really taken the time in the first place to make this a park and a green space, and then it just all went away. We really want to try to engage the community um, to just take responsibility for this park and to just to really love this park. And this is kind of a similar idea where they, just to enclose the, the kid area so that the kids can have a space that isn't overrun by dogs. It, it, it was the kids' park. But because it had a fence around the exterior, people started bringing their dogs. This fence that you see right here around the playground wasn't here. And so it were, were, was dogs and kids and, and chaos. It is not really a city park, so in order to get things done, you, you kind of have to take on the responsibility as a neighbor. Our councilman, Tom Owen, you know, got involved, and we got money from a lot of different sources. But the Neighborhood Association was willing to kick in because they thought this was an important part of their neighborhood. Yeah, and they're very they're very active and involved and we work very closely with the businesses on all kinds of issues. I mean, for instance, O'Shea's comes down here and, and helps with maintenance of the park, um, you know, and, and when we need certain things done, we'll get them done. And, and you know, it's just, it's it really is a joint community project. We also are going to work with Kim. Her project is um, a gardening club for the original Highlands, so they're really excited about getting involved in Patterson Park and doing landscaping. And, um, and we really want to try to just go in the neighborhood and organize just a big core group of volunteers, a new group of volunteers that can get really involved, and that'll be part of the gardening club, um, pet owners and parents. I think that the animosity that used to exist between the dog owners and the people who were trying to let their children use the playground is definitely gone. And then I think more importantly, the people who bring dogs over here meet one another and get to know other neighbors in the neighborhood. Respect for your neighbors and respect for the property and, and um, taking care of one another. And I think that this park proves that we can do that and we don't need a whole lot of rules posted in order to, to accomplish that. We really can do that on our own. But if people hadn't stepped up to get involved, you know, nothing would have happened. It would still be just the way it was. Dirt and, you know, the playground equipment in disrepair and nobody really using it properly. I mean, I think it, it does take people noticing that there's a need and there's a space, you know, and just coming together and making it happen. I think Neighborhood Institute did have a big part of that, too, as being a a really good organizer of, of people and gets people together and have ideas and the resources and also to see that you can make change mm -hmm. just just a couple people can create a pretty nice thing for the neighborhood. It was a class project for us but in the end it was really the right thing to do so it wasn't like a project you take on and say wow I gotta get this done and you know we gotta do this. From start to finish we were saying well yeah this is the right thing to do so how hard can this be? And um, that's what we got out of the Institute, that kind of, you know, go be neighbors.